Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, sorry, I'm actually in the process of responding to a couple of people. They DM me a couple of days ago. So I posted this post on Instagram and the post said, I don't know who needs to hear this, but y'all got to take things one step at a time. You're frustrated because you're trying to do it all at once. You're trying to lose weight, buy a house, rent, practice meditation, vacation, Practice gentle parenting without gentle children and work a nine to five with two hustles on the side. You're trying to date, clean a house, cook, and save. You only one person, one thing at a time, baby. So I saw that post on Sandra King. I don't know if you guys follow Sandra King. She's over here on YouTube. Um, she just had a baby. She just bought a house. She's such a beautiful person. She's from Philly as well. So make sure you guys go ahead and show her some love. Her name is Sandra King. And, um... Yeah, I saw that post on her Instagram story and it resonated with me so well. And I'm like, you know what? That is exactly why for me, I focus on one thing at a time because you will become frustrated. You will become frustrated because, you know, like right for instance right now, all on social media, I see everybody buying, you know, designer bags and they have the nice car and buying houses and taking vacation and you see so much on social media, but the most important part is you cannot lose insight on what, you, what, what you're trying to do and what you want in life. So for me, I could take a vacation. Like, I'm going to be honest, I could take a vacation right now. I can buy me a Chanel bag right now. I can buy me a new car right now if I really want to. But the end goal for me, the end goal for me 
is to eventually leave my nine to five job. So that is the end goal for me and to live and make a lifestyle off of my brand. So my brand is Amayu Pernicia. That's my brand. I have my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is just the start of it, but I am building a brand. Soon I'm coming out with things that you guys are going to know about. Soon I'm going to have a website. Soon I'm going to have things where I can style different, you know, so it's, it's starting with YouTube, but eventually it's going to be different avenues to Amaya Pernicia. So, you know, for me, I just always look at like, you know, just letting you guys know a little, my car is almost paid off. I probably got like one more month of my car. In all reality, I really want to go get me a new car, but I said, you know what? It's a perfect opportunity for me to save my money. I don't, my car is in good condition. I only had it for what, five years? It's still in good condition. You know, it's not the car, my dream car, or what I really want. But eventually, eventually I will get there. You know, eventually I will get there and I'll get the car that I want. But for right now, I'm just gonna leave my nine to five job. So, me paying this car off in the next month, because I only have like a month left of car payment, is like, okay, sis, that's more money that you can generate in your avenue to save towards your goal of leaving your job. You get what I'm saying? Um, the second part of what I read was, you know, a lot of people are trying to vacation and save for a house and do this and do that. You have to, you have to know what you want out of life and you have to understand that you're going to have to make sacrifices. Um, again, I'm going to use me again. I want to buy a Chanel bag. I want to buy, you know, different things. I want to take a vacation, but for right now, I'm just focused on my home. I'm focused on um, turning my house into a home, making it comfortable for my family. And granted, I, you know, I spend a good quality of money. Like the stuff that I buy is good, is good quality, and it's not cheap. So it's like, okay, am I? What are you going to invest? in your great room or you want to go take this two to three trips in vacation you know on vacation because you can do both or you want to buy this bag or are you going to go ahead and sh do what you need to do so and that's just for me not saying for anybody else but that's just for me so it, it's it's like all right you know i i know i can't do both so what you want to do and for me my home me creating a home for my family and being comfortable because my home is my sanctuary now everyone is different again everyone is different not everyone is the same, so what I'm saying might not resonate with you because it's not, that's not what you want. But I'm just talking about for me. Um, vacationing right now is just, is just not in the budget. And doing other, you know, buying a new car and buying designer things are, is just not in my budget right now. But you have to be okay with it. You have to know, I know eventually my house is going to be done and I can be able to get me a new car. I can be able to um, buy the designer things that I want when the time is right. Because to be honest, I don't want to spend my paycheck on designer things and things like that. I kind of want to. I kind of want to create assets and have my assets pay for it. You get what I'm saying? Um, so it's just. I guess it's just. It all depends on what you want in life and. What, exactly, what do you want in life? So, don't try to do everything. If you if you feel like you want, if you feel like you're trying to start a business, save your money, because that's what I'm about to start doing. As soon as I'm done this house, I'm saving every penny so I can invest in my business. And then eventually, I will be able to take trips, and I will be able, I'll be able to have the time and the money, you know what I mean? You know, people make sacrifices and you don't know all their sacrifices because they don't tell you. So I just wanted to speak on that because a lot of you are like, it's hard to, you know, save and it's hard to do this. It's, it's all about how bad you want it. If you want it that bad, one thing for sure, these designers ain't going nowhere. Those bags and pocketbooks and shoes gonna always be here, baby. Always be here. Houses will always be here. Cars will always be here. Vacations will always be here. So just take your time and focus on what you want in your life. Don't make nobody feel like you have to move faster than what you have to move. You don't have to move faster. I tell anybody, it, we didn't build this house overnight. It took time. 
it took a lot of saving, it took a lot of working, it took a lot of sacrificing. Things take time. So I just hate, sometimes social media is good and bad because a lot of people look like, oh, this person got this, this person got that. But it's like, you don't know what that person went through. You don't know what that person went through. I know so many business owners and so many, like a lot of my friends have great businesses, but it didn't happen overnight. It takes time. So you have to be okay with it taking time and be okay with if you can't afford that Chanel bag or if you can't afford that new car right now, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. And a bag don't make you who you are. You make you who you are. Nothing in this world make you who you are but you, your character. Okay, so I just wanted to talk about that. And we're going to look at the Ruggables. The Ruggables came. There's so many. Hmm? There's so many. <laughs> By the way, can you go to Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A for what? Why Chick-fil-A for what? Because I'm hungry. No, it's food. I'm going to make you something to eat. Can I have that? This is my smoothie. Okay. The whole time I'm talking to y'all, she, she, Mahaya was behind the camera. Then can I have the coffee? No, why is it the coffee? Well, not the coffee, but stuff without the coffee in it. We'll see, child. We'll see. All right, guys. Let's go look at these rugs. But, um... Can I have your phone? My rug, why? Because I want to check up here, the here, 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 things here. For, for kids. So, anyway, guys. I just want to be honest with you guys. That's all. I just like having these little conversations because I feel like there's not a lot of people talking about it. There's not a lot of people um, just being honest with things, you know? Like, and the amount of people that DM me and saying why they follow me was just like so heartwarming, you know? Because, shoot, they just take time, shit. What's what called? How many the, times? The, the who? The thing that you, that, that you gave us the coffee. So I could have turned shoes up some for kids. Oh. Well, you don't need that. You don't need that. Just look up kid kid friendly coffee. But, um. Yeah, y'all. I'm upset. So I gotta go back on each of them and see if they still got these pants. Because the shirt is fine, but the pants. But. And I had the iron on linen, so I'm thinking I probably should do this silk. But that's my fault. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So now, when everybody watched my video, they was like, this girl did. <laughs> Put a hole in her hands. But I love you guys so much that it's like, I can be real with y'all, you know? Because y'all... I feel like my platform has so many positive and beautiful people that you guys are like, yo, that's my sis. She's funny as hell. <laughs> because really, I really was hiding my pants for y'all. Because I ain't know nobody to see it. All right, so here's the rug. Penny, you pee on this rug? You gonna be out that door. You gonna be out that door, mama, if you pee on this rug. All right. So this is the 
round one. Let me show you guys. This is the eight feet, okay? This is eight feet. I'm gonna move it up for y'all, hold on. Oh, let me take the camera off one second. Okay, so here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, look at my highlight. All right, so you guys know it's going over there, so I guess I should bring it over there, but I'm not gonna put it under the table yet because I really want to wait until the cheers come. This is my problem though, y'all. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so this is the problem. The table is very, very heavy. So I don't know how we're going to put it under. So let me bring it over here. Oh, so somebody asked, can I show all the little decor stuff that I have in the basement? I brought this up just to see what like a white vase I mean, not a white, a cream vase will look like. So I'm thinking I'm going to get like a cream vase here. Because this picture is all black. So I think a cream vase will make it like really pop. <clears throat> and I don't know if I'm going to do books or not. I don't know. We can play with this later. Um, I finally purchased something for the table. A lot of you guys said do a bowl with fruit in it. Uh, that's not my, like that's not really my style like with a bowl with fruit. I don't know. I feel like that's like farmhouse maybe. I don't know to me it do so I'm going to get a bowl with moss and I'm gonna put that in front of here I already purchased the bowl It's from West M. I'm just waiting for it to come and then I have some moss upstairs so I'm gonna put that there plus our fruit bowl is over there this is where our fruit bowl is right there I put the fruit bowl there but thank you I do I do appreciate all of your suggestions but I just it's not my twist with the fruit in the middle it's just not yes it will be functional for the family but styling wise I don't think so um, so I am going to keep this here You guys a couple of you said I should add I did a poll on Instagram because someone commented and said they think I should add branches Which is not a bad idea. Um, I I think what I what did I do? Oh on Instagram I asked what you guys thought and a lot of you said yes add branches So I am going to add more branches They're coming I ordered that from What I ordered from? Um, you, I was about to say I ordered it from YouTube. I ordered it from Amazon. So I'm thinking about the branches that I'm going to have over here. I'm going to put them in the cream vase over here. And then I'm just going to put the two. Because someone said, if you're going to do this vase over here, just keep it minimal with the two. And I like that idea. So this could be more fuller. And then this could just have two. And that way it, it's still giving like a different vibe. And then a black bowl here with green moss in it is going to be cool. Because the chandelier is going to come down to like right here. You guys can see like right here and then the the bowl over here. So that's going to give it like that nice vibe that I am looking for. Okay. Yes. What's wrong? Okay, I'm about to feed y'all. Hold on. All right, after I show y'all guys this, I'm going to have to take a break and feed my kids. Mahila, go get your, bring your clothes down so I can um, wash your clothes, please. Um, go get a hamper out the laundry room. Go get the hamper out the laundry room or just put my phone down. All right, guys. And oh, and I brought some rug, Scotch Guard rug. What's it? It's rug protector. So I want to show you guys that as well. Okay. So I really, I didn't think that this rug was going to be this light, but it is a cream color. Like it matches with the chairs really well and with the table. It looked really good. And then with that black picture, it's going to really pop. So, hold on guys. Okay, I'm gonna set y'all back up on a tripod because it's hard to do this with one hand. All right, highlight. Cairo! Cairo! Come get a hamper, babe, and put your clothes in the hamper so I can wash it. So, my, my highlight, can you help him since he got one hand? Cairo, Cairo get his cast off on Tuesday. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Okay. So, I think this will look really well underneath it. And it's like a real a nice size. I wish I could lift this table up, but I can't, it's too heavy. But, just think of it over here. Just 
going over. So it should be like this much. This much out of I don't know. I don't know. We would have to see. But yeah, this is what the rug is looking like. camera i don't know can about to be bringing me another camera that's why you can never focus this is rug and carpet protector it blocks stains keeps rugs and carpets looking new now you guys know the carpet i just showed you guys from ruggables it's like a lot of cream ivory color so i'm a little scared because y'all know how these kids are so i brought this i can't really give any reviews on it because I didn't use it yet. So once I use it, I'll be happy to give my review. But I do want to, I did want to show this to you guys just so you know they have this out here because I didn't know anything about it. Um, it is at Home Depot. I do not remember the price, but here go the receipt. So let's see. Okay. It is $6. So this, no, $8.78. And then this was $7.87. This is rug and carpet cleaner, deep foaming action, easy stain release. This is from Scotch Guard as well. Okay? So that's what I purchased. And I also bought quartz and stone cleaner because I usually use granite and stone cleaner but to be honest i love this for the breakfast area table and i love this for my quartz this doesn't do the justice for the stone um table for the breakfast area i don't know why it doesn't but i gotta re-up on this one because there's barely nothing in here so yeah okay so yeah that's what i bought from my from the store so i'm about to go get the ruggable hold on all right, guys. Ta da! And my camera's about to die. Thank goodness I got another one plugged up. I'm ready to be plopped in. All right, so I know I'm jumping all over the place. Y'all gonna have to just roll with this vlog right now because it's probably like all over the place with all my ideas. But I found these two bowls at Kirkland's. I'm gonna pull the trigger on it and I'm gonna purchase it because it's on sale. Once to come, I'll show you guys if I like it. We 
our family. Okay, so when you're purchasing your Ruggable, guys, it automatically comes with the pad system. The pad system, okay? If you, if you, so for instance, like me, now that I have the pad system for a runner and I want to order another runner, I wouldn't need the pad system again. I mean, unless it got damaged, but you wouldn't need it again. So, all right. So let's see what this look like. I hope I like it. <laughs> I feel like that's the only thing about buying decor. You just never know if you're going to like something or not. Okay. So it's inside of here. Whew. Getting started. Small, medium size. Roll up the rug cover. Design side and side. Position the rug maker. Okay. So a lot of you said you guys have a ruggable. A lot of you said you love your ruggable. So that makes me happy because it makes me like, okay, this is a good, you know, a good investment of buying a rug. All righty, let's see guys. And I'll make sure I link all the sizes and all the carpets down below. All right, so. here to let it sit for a little bit. Woo. It's like a workout. Okay. Okay. Okay, Miss Fine. Alright, so that's what you do first. You're gonna put the pad down which is down i mean black don't look bad psycho i know y'all gonna be like girl stop with the black all right let's try the other thing hold on i want to make sure you guys can see me because i'll be trying to get these angles right for y'all hold on I think it looks really good. I really think it looks good. Ooh, sorry. Um, hold on. Let's show you guys like Myla, please. I'm not trying to get copyrighted, sis. <laughs> Alright, so this is what it's looking like. I'm about to spray the Hyla. I turned it off. The rug protector. Just at least when the kids, like if they spill something, um, you know, it's a little protected, that's all. Chicken, hot dogs, hamburgers, some 
ribs, but pork ribs. I don't eat pork, so I can't have any ribs. But, um, yeah, I think that'll be fun tonight for the kids. So, I'm about to start editing this vlog because I want to keep it 30 minutes, and I did a lot of talking in this vlog. So, once I edit, then I'll know how much more I need to add. But, um, I was about to tell you guys something. Oh, I'm looking for a cream base to go over here. Because that's what I'm going to put here. I'm going to put it. A cream vase here because let me show you guys what I had here so all day I had this here this is not staying here I feel like I have to say that because y'all be picking up I be just putting stuff here just to see like the color um, but this is not staying here. It's gonna, I'm gonna get a base. I want like a nice cream base because this is gonna be black and I feel like that's gonna look really nice there. If I get like a nice cream base, that's gonna look good, especially with that black picture behind the vase. Because remember, the picture is black and then I have the cream base. So I need the base to come about this height. Kind of like the Joshua, but I just need it to be cream. So if you guys know of any vases like the Joshua vase, but it's cream, please DM it to me on Instagram. And yeah, hold on. Oh, I know what I wanted to talk to you guys about real quick before I close out this vlog. Hold on. The gift cards, the giveaway. Okay. So in my last video, I told you guys we were almost at 9,500. In that short amount of time, I'm at 9,600 now which I'm so grateful for. Um, but I have decided, I did a poll on Instagram to ask you guys, you know, what kind of gift cards you guys want? Do you want Pottery Barn? Do you want um, Crate and Barrel? CB2, CB2 is Crate and Barrel, but um, West M. And I did a poll. So it's gonna be two gift cards. First I was gonna do Zara, but I feel like because you guys know I love fashion, but I'm not focused on fashion right now. Like, that type of content will be coming. Like, once the house get done, it won't be any more home update videos. I mean, unless, like, projects and stuff. But it won't be so many home update videos. It'll be more, like, lifestyle. And then I'll be incorporating the, life, the home update videos when we're doing something in the house. But it won't be as frequent as this once the whole house is furnished. <clears throat> so that's when I probably can start focusing on fashion content and traveling and going here and going there and going there. It'll be so much more content on my channel. Right now, I feel like my channel is just like home based, just home. And I wanted to just focus on that with the gift cards. So I wanted to do home store gift cards. So a lot of you were saying like I should do home goods because it's more of a little stretch. But this is what I decided to do. And the reason why I decided to do it this way, I'm about to tell you guys what I decided on, but because I felt like, what if someone win and they don't want to buy home stuff? So, this is what I'm going to do. It's going to be two gift cards. Each gift card will be $100, okay? I'm going to name all the stores that once you win, you can choose. So, I am not going to pre-choose the gift cards for you guys. You are going to be able to choose your own gift cards. And I felt that I wanted to do that because it could be someone who has children and they want to do a, a Walmart gift card for food. Or it might be someone who just built a home and they want to do Crate and Barrel. Um, Pottery Barn. Or it could be someone who want to do Target. So, I felt that... I'm like, you know what? I'm going to allow them to pick their gift card. So I'll have a list of gift cards. You pick two gift cards. Each gift card will be $100. And then I'm going to put together a beautiful care package for you guys. It's going to have like, um, I want to do aromatherapy from Bath and Body Works for the winter. Because I want it to be special. So you guys will get two gift cards 
$100 value each. You will get aromatherapy. I'm going to do this room spray, the body wash, the lotion, and the candle from Bath & Body Works. Also, once you win, you'll tell me your size PJs, and I want to get you some nice pajamas. And I'll probably get like a lip balm or something. And I'm going to put it in like a nice like a nice box and then hand write a letter of how much I appreciate you guys so much um because I want to make it personal like I want to put my own what shh daddy sleep shh oh. anyway yeah that's what I'm going to do with the gift card so I'm about to close out this vlog um later on because i'm gonna show you guys little bits and pieces of us at my neighbors watching a movie eating some food whatever whatever and then i'll probably close out the vlog so i will talk to you guys I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want.